Brian's back and you have some explaining to do. We're talking <laughs> a 60 degree day. I feel like I'm in trouble hearing that right now. Well, I mean, there's just a lot that's happening over the next week. Oh yeah, we've got dense fog tonight. Mm -hmm. Then we're aiming for near record, if not record temperatures on Tuesday. Okay. Then we're back down into the 30s by the end of the week Blech. with rain and even a little bit of snow in the next seven days. It's a busy forecast, so let's break it all down. We'll start tonight. Tower cam over downtown Detroit. We've kept that cloud cover in overnight, at least into this morning and then throughout the entire day today. 42 right now here in Detroit. We're one of the warmer spots. 35 as you're working over in Ann Arbor. 37 right now over in Howell and 42 as you're checking in with us late tonight over in Adrian. Visibilities are dropping. We are going to have patchy dense fog overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Down to three miles right now working over into Howell as well as in Ann Arbor. Four miles over at Metro Airport and five miles as you're working into Pontiac. Best advice if you run into this dense fog, give yourself some extra time to get to your destination and be sure to use those low beams. After we scour out the fog tomorrow morning, we've got rain on the way by late tomorrow night thanks to an area of low pressure right over the Four Corners region and a frontal boundary back into the Midwestern United States. This low pressure system is going to strengthen as it moves off to the east and it's going to bring us a healthy dose of rainfall for the first part of the week and I'd say all the way through about midday on Wednesday. Clouds and radar keeps the cloud cover with us all day tomorrow. No rain until late tomorrow night. After 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow night, I start to bring in some of those rain showers. 10 o'clock tomorrow night, scattered showers. But overnight, Monday into Tuesday, we get a very healthy dose of rainfall, especially as we're going back to work and possibly school on Tuesday morning. 6 a.m. Tuesday morning, widespread oranges and even a few reds showing up on the radar. That is moderate, possibly briefly heavy rain with this first wave lifting off to the north and east. And then we keep the rain rain showers around pretty much on and off the entire day and even Tuesday night into Wednesday. This is midnight Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Scattered showers for most of southeastern Michigan and we keep the rain around for most of Wednesday before we turn it over to some snow by late Wednesday night as colder air moves into the region. Before it's all said and done, the latest model projections here keeping at least an inch of rain for the majority of southeastern Michigan over an inch and a half from Ann Arbor over to Metro Airport, including Gross Eel and Mount Clemens. We may see some minor flooding problems in areas that see drainage issues normally, but no widespread flooding concerns with this rain that's on the way. What we're also going to be looking for record temperatures by the time we get to Tuesday. Forecasting for the 40s today and tomorrow. My forecast for Tuesday is 60 degrees and the record 59. So right now looks like we're going to break that by one degree. But anyway, we slice it. It will be unusually warm as we head into Tuesday. Cloud cover sticks around tomorrow morning, upper 30s, patchy dense fog early. Then we warm into the upper 40s by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon with that east wind that's bringing that moisture off of the lakes. That's going to keep us on the cloudy side of things tomorrow. Then we aim for 60 on Tuesday. Rain likely for everybody Tuesday and into Wednesday. As colder air moves in, that goes over to snow late Wednesday night. We'll have to keep a close eye on that to see if that could accumulate Wednesday night, but we'll keep snow showers into the forecast on Thursday as we're right around the free freezing mark and then we keep the cloud cover around and temperatures back to near average into the 30s Friday through the end of next weekend with another chance of rain and snow by next Sunday.